Planning a funeral isn't easy and it isn't exactly cheap either. In this report, Rex Ramitio shows us how to plan the perfect send-off without blowing through one's budget. Debt is inevitable, including its cost. Funerals are among the most costly expenditures consumers will ever make. That's why the Philippine Mortuary Association advises families to plan ahead for the cost of debt before it's too late. No, we need to plan. Because uh, it, it, uh, uh, it becomes expensive. Pag hindi mo napagplanuhan or pag hindi mo napaghandaan. Board member Jojo Flores says early preparation is necessary due to rising funeral cost. Uh, suppliers na in casket, that's uh, number one. No? And then uh, fluids, like you know, formaldehyde or formalin. Yun. So yun lang, and then of course yung tao namin, personal, pag nag-a-adjust yung wage nila. Flores explains a middle-class family must have at least 30,000 pesos in cash to give their deceased loved one a decent wake and burial. This includes a simple wooden casket at 12,000 pesos, lighting and funeral hearse both at 4,000 pesos, and embalming services at 2,500 pesos. In addition, flowers cost around 2,000 pesos, permits at 1,000 pesos, and chapel per night at 6,000 pesos with air conditioning system and 2,000 pesos without aircon. The cost of a grave lot is not even included. This is at least 60,000 pesos. Flores adds the lower class usually spends at least 15 to 30,000 pesos while the upper class spends at least 100,000 pesos. Meanwhile, cremation costs are a bit cheaper than the traditional burial of the dead. For one of the top debt care companies in the Philippines, however, a life plan can be bought at affordable prices. It's not really expensive to die and it's not really um, difficult difficult in, prepar in, in, in preparing for, for something that is certain, which is, which is death. For only 550 pesos per month for five years, you can already avail of a 29,000 peso complete package. You can also pay every three months, six months, yearly, or even spot cash to avail of a 10% discount. The most expensive plan costs up to 110,000 pesos, with a monthly installment payment of a little less than 2,000 pesos. For cremation plans, the cheapest cost around 1,000 pesos monthly for a package of over 57,500. St. Peter Life Plan Vice President Jonathan Vitankol says these plans will help a consumer save more money. It's non-inflationary. Whether you bought the plan today at this certain amount, for example at 30,000, yeah. and then this is a, a casket is assigned to that amount, and then you'll be able to consume the plan 30 years from now. The, the same casket, whether it's worth half a million already, is the same casket you're going to use you bought 30 years ago. The PMA advises relatives of the deceased to be careful in signing contracts at a time when they are going through emotional pain. So be observant. No? Uh, kung meron kayo nakikinig na issue dito sa mga funeral na to, that they're doing uh, something na hindi ayos, no? uh, huwag na natin, ano, huwag na natin uh, ipatronage. No? Some contract sheets include availing services of a random mortuary even if it was not chosen by the family of the deceased. The relatives must also check if the funeral parlor has sanitary and business permits from the respective local governments. Rex Fermitio, 9 News.